You can hear it popping. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And you can actually feel it when you squeeze it in your hand. It is fizzy. Let's see how it bounces. Oh no! What's up guys? Today I'm going to be trying out five slime hacks and experiments. Well, not all of them have slime in them, but they're really awesome. So stick around. So guys, you're going to need a dry erase marker for this next one. Um, this Expo brand worked. I tried another brand, uh, Lakeside or something like that. It did not do anything. So make sure if you try something that doesn't work, try a different brand. So this is the Expo and it does work. Now you might have seen this before, but I've never tried it and I wanted to try it myself and I thought it was so cute. I wanted to show you how this works. So make him a little stick man and yes, this is about the extent of my artistic ability. And I thought I did a great job. I wanted to be cute and use this little cute little pour water thingy and uh, yeah, you see how this goes. Nothing. Absolutely nothing happened. Now why? Why did it not happen? I'm thinking it didn't happen because I poured the water too quickly and it just it just did not work. I'm not ready to give up yet, so I decided to peel, try to peel with my finger the little leg there and to loosen it up. And then guys, it starts waving with its leg. It's like dancing. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we got a little dancing stick man, guys. It really does work. I did try this on a pie plate, the clear ones, you know what I'm talking about, and it did not work. So also, the surface that you're drawing on needs to be taken into account. I honestly couldn't believe this really worked because I'd seen videos and I'm like, yeah, right. Um, so I wanted to do it again and we're gonna have little stick buddies and maybe we can get them to dance together. Wouldn't that be cute? Instead of my fancy little water cup, I'm just using a regular glass with water and it works so much better because you can pour it slower and look at them go. I feel like we need a cue to use it. I tried to mix the water to see if it would move more, but actually with a bigger plate, they could have gone all over the world with this dance. I mean, this is quite entertaining. For this next little hack uh, experiment, we're going to start with some warm water and a tablespoon of dry borax. So what we're doing essentially is making borax solution, but it does require a little bit more borax. Usually it's a teaspoon. This is a tablespoon. Big difference. We're just going to mix that in until it's dissolved. And I'm going to put that into my little bowl here. Once we're done pouring our water into our water solution into our bowl, we're going to add in two tablespoons of glue. And I'm using glitter glue because it's so much cuter. And I think I did just say glitter glue. So glitter glue. When you pour this in, make sure you dump it on top of the other one. You want to keep these together and not spread out or this little experiment will not work. So right now I have a borax filled glue ball and I'm going to dump this back into the borax so it can stiffen up and pull it back out and smush out some of the liquid to firm it up into an actual bouncy ball, a DIY bouncy ball. How cool is this? And this process really only took about five minutes. It didn't take as long to do as I thought it might, but guys, here it is. Okay. So this is what I have so far. It's, not completely a ball yet. All right, I'm gonna set this out for a little bit and see what we get in just a minute. Let's see how it bounces. Oh no! Onto the floor again. No! You see it has like a flat butt there. That's hilarious. But you have to let it set. There's no way to get away from having that flat area. But I made several of these and they all bounced. It was really fun, so just be patient. This next one I've been wanting to do for a while. I saw it on Pinterest and what you're going to do is start out with your shaving cream. You don't need a whole lot. This might be a cup. Then you're going to add in some school glue or just regular glue, whatever you have. And you're going to do three fourths cups of glue to this basically one cup of shaving cream. And just go ahead and mix that up really well. And I promise you, we are not making fluffy slime. Oh no, we are not. 
I'm gonna divvy this into its own individual little cups and wait for the next step. This part right here actually does remind me of icing the cake. You know, you take your icing out and you divvy it up between the bowls and then you put coloring in it. Um, that's essentially, essentially, that is my new word, guys. I've said it a couple times already. Um, that's what we're doing. We are going to color this shaving cream glue mixture to some bright, bright color. So I'm adding in a lot of food coloring right now. You might be like, whoa, that's too much. But no, it's not. Just watch, I'll prove you wrong. Oh no. Yes, yellow and blue make green and I don't want green yet. I just want a pretty yellow. All right, that's taken care of and I got my pretty pink. Time to do this. Now to make this all nice and neat, you're gonna need some piping bags or if you don't have those, Ziploc works just fine. And I have this little hair tie that works really well so it doesn't seep out the end. Isn't this gorgeous? This is DIY puff paint. How neat is this? How, who knew it could be so easy? And I'm loving the beautiful colors that this is making. If you haven't already, go hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a Will It Slime video. So I can't just stop there. I am going to make something out of this and I'm gonna use my baking soda and contact lens solution. What do you think I'm gonna be making, guys? Comment down below. So with the ingredients I've already used, I've used color, I've used glue, and I've used shaving cream. So I am actually activating this DIY puff paint into slime. How cool is this? So you can take one product that you make and actually turn it into something totally new, a new masterpiece. I mean, look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? No, it's not that gorgeous, but it is kind of cool. It turned to green. Look at this. It's a really cool masterpiece I got going on here. Baby poop green. Mmm, love it. So this next one's kind of like science. It's kind of like slime. We're gonna start off with color and some water and try not to lose your stirring stick. To that, I'm gonna add in some cornstarch and I'm gonna stir this all together. It gets harder the more cornstarch you actually put in. And yes, this is oobleck, guys. This is one of our favorite non-Newtonian fluids. Like, is it a solid or is it a liquid? It's both. I'm really liking this color. It looks like the ocean and your earth. It's got some green swirls in it. It's really cool to play with. So if you haven't made any of this, go make some. But I'm gonna do you one better here coming up shortly. Okay, made an oobleck ball. And it slowly becomes liquid again. Isn't that cool how it can just be a solid and then it's liquid? So for this one, you start out with vinegar instead of water. I saw this recipe on the King of Random, so I wanted to try it out. Mix this in. Ew, why is it like that? Why? Vinegar has done something to it. Well, that's gross, but we're gonna go with that. Now I'm going to add in my cornstarch to make our vinegar oobleck. I stay running low because this is my last container and I don't want to use all of it. Ooh. I guess we're doing another blue. I got that here. Yes, that's much better. Now it's like, uh, ew, why? Why so ugly? Like cookies. Ew. 
there. I'm gonna put some more in here actually before we get started. Let's see if I can just swirl this on top, but just give it color so you can actually see what is about to happen because this dull color is not the greatest. So time to add baking soda. Okay, so I want, I really hope this works. I'm gonna bring you on in. Here we go, guys. Do you hear it? It's got a sizzle sound. Now, I'm gonna add some, I'm actually gonna pour some of this vinegar in a cup so we can see it bubble up even more. Tall glass of vinegar. How awesome is that? And, okay, yeah, the top layer has a bunch of air bubbles in it. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, oh, focus camera, focus. Has air bubbles in it, so it makes it a fizzy. And you can actually feel it when you squeeze it in your hand. It is fizzy. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And it's fizzing down below because it's finally reaching there. Look at the colors. But can you hear that? It's still oob like. But it, when you squeeze it in your hand, it is fizzing. It's like it's like pop rocks for your hand. That is just too cool. So I saw this other recipe and this is another one that I just had to try out. We're gonna start with some balloons and I have a lot of balloons, like an, a crazy amount of balloons. So I'm just gonna show those to you first before I select which one I'm going to use. I found and gathered all these when I was cleaning out the slime room one day. I mean, some from birthdays, some from, you know, videos, some from, I have no idea why we have that. Balloon animals? Uh, I have no idea. But it was insane. So I tried to stuff them all in this Ziploc bag and that seems to work perfectly as my little storage container. So I selected this little happy face. He makes me happy. I love little happy faces emoji, whatever. Very cute. So I'm gonna use this one and stretch him out to begin with. None of that making that noise is necessary for this recipe or this project. This is kind of like a science experiment, I guess. But you do need some of this color dye of some sort. So I'm using this. I think this is blue. What did I just put in there? Yeah, I just scrolled back. Yes, it's blue. So to that, you're going to add in some water. And you want to fill this balloon to its max capacity. The recipe that I'm following shows a starburst. Once you've put this in the freezer for 24 hours, and you should have a starburst of color, and the rest should be clear. So let's see what mine turned out to be. Ew. Oh my gosh, it's getting all over me. I've got a break here, so I'm gonna break it up. I'm just gonna cut it there, unfortunately. Oh. If my hands weren't so messy, it'd be cooler. Oh my gosh, this might be a fail. What's in this one? <laughs> a green balloon and a balloon. Okay. Ooh, that one's cute, it kind of did the thing there. 
She's got a flat butt. might have done what I was wanting it to do. So, uh, I'm making it all ugly. Uggy. <laughs> but it's like crystallized. It's kind of neat. You see that there's really not any color right here, but it's on this side. It's settled. There's a lot. So there's more color in the central area. And there, I mean, there's some right here, but there's no color here, but it's coming through through the bottom, which is really cool, which is what I was hoping for. You can hear it popping. Can you see the cracks? I don't know if that was there before. Let's see if we can crack these. Big Mama. I'm really liking Big Mama. She's like got something there. This is kind of like the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, that guy. Zando? What is his name? <laughs> I don't know. He's got that thing so he can um, make the whistle. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. And this one is crackling because I guess because it's so big. It's got more to offer. see the oxygen leaving. Look at that. It's like little oxygen bubbles. I can't even scrape them. They're inside. That's really cool. It's clearing up every time I do that. There's like bubbles on the side here. They're just like running. It's really neat. All these cracks. Look at the air bubble in there. That's cool. Very, very cool. 